Hi, this is Chip. It's about midnight here in the Horn of Africa, and Clifton and I are at the Addis Ababa International Airport in Ethiopia. I'm going to give you a little bit of information real quickly about how to be a better prayer on behalf of Ethiopia. Ethiopia is home to more than 90 million people, which makes it the second most populated country on the continent of Africa and the first most populated country in the world that is landlocked. Let's look at Ethiopia's geography real quick. I've got a little book here for you. Here it is, right over here is the Red Sea. Landlocked though by Somalia, Djibouti, and Eritrea. Over here is Sudan and South Sudan. Here's Uganda, and to the south is gonna be Kenya. Ethiopia makes almost a perfect profile in terms of spiritual belief with two-thirds of its people being nominally Christian, one-third being nominally associated with the Muslim faith of the Christians. You've got about five out of six, they're going to be Ethiopian Orthodox, and that remaining one out of six, they're going to be Protestant and Evangelical. The Ethiopian official language is Amharic, but also the language of Oromo is spoken widely. I'm going to show you just a couple of things to give you some visual cues on how to pray for Ethiopia. First, there's this. In Ethiopian art, something that's very important to the Orthodox Christians is the icon. And here's just a little small example of an Ethiopian icon painting that I got from the airport gift shop. Here's St. John, excuse me, St. George rather, the patron saint of Ethiopia, slaying the dragon. And here, of course, is the Virgin Mary with the Christ child. Also, I want to show you this. This is a really stylized cross, very common of the artwork that you would see in an Ethiopian Orthodox church. The icons and the crosses are so beautiful here. What we got to pray for though about Ethiopia is that these things move off of the walls of the churches and into the hearts of the people. The last thing I want to show you here is this. This is really cool. It's a painting that I got here and this is the story of Solomon and his visit from the Queen of Sheba. The Queen of Sheba, of course, being from the ancient land of Sheba, which is present-day Ethiopia. Ethiopia has a lot of history. You'll remember, if you're my age or older, that Ethiopia in the mid-80s was the victim of a brutal famine that took the lives of almost a million people. You'll also maybe remember, if you look deep, deep back into the history books, the fact that Ethiopia is one of two African countries to never be colonized by Europe. Ethiopia has been independent since the ancient times. So there's been a lot of high highs and a lot of low lows in Ethiopia. Of course, the ultimate high high is going to be when God brings revival and awakening here. And that's why we want to pray for Ethiopia tonight. Thanks. Bye.